So if you have a video that's mostly PowerPoint file, um, so it's someone speaking and you're seeing the slides change one after another, um, this video is gonna show you how to export or compress that final video file into something that's of manageable size. Um, so let's just start out by looking here. What I've got is this client um, presentation and it's about, uh, looks like about 50 minutes long. And once I created this inside Final Cut and I, you know, exported this just, you know, straight export out, uh, it was a 600 megabyte file. I said, okay, that's not, that's not good. That's, you know, it's too much for the client. They need to be able to, you know, put this on their internet and pull it up and, and send it around. The file that they originally gave me that I needed to fix was 90 megabytes. So that's what I was shooting for. Um, so this, that's what I started with. And I, I, of course, took it into compressor. And no matter what I did, I ended up with just this really, um, you know, in order to get the file down to the right size, the compression just destroyed the slides. Um, this is a slide that's it's kind of an extreme example here, um, but you can see how the compression just didn't work well. And and this is stuff, um, you know, what, what hurt me here is that the compression, you know, almost all of the uh, the frames of this video were exactly the same. Um, so I did some, I, I wanna be completely honest here, this is not my solution. I found this solution on the internet and I'm gonna share it with you guys how to make it look like this one over here, which is just, uh, I think it was 68 megabytes. Um, so this is almost the exact same quality as that original 600 megabyte, um, but it's compressed down um, and I don't understand how it worked, but I'm gonna share with you how it was done. Okay, so the first thing is, uh, this is being done on a Macintosh, sorry if you're over on a PC, can't help you there. Um, but on a Macintosh, I went to this, this site, Homebrew, which is brew.sh, and installed Homebrew. So what you do um, is you go here and you copy this out and then you go to your terminal, which is under applications, utilities, terminal. So then just paste that in there. And I've already installed this, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, but this is gonna install this little program, uh, which is going to let you get to the next phase, um, which will then allow you to install the FFmpeg, which is the software that's going to actually do this compression for you. Um, and all of this will be down below in the notes. So you'll have kind of like which website to go to, which thing to do. Um, and so after I installed this guy, I went through and in, oops, I went through and installed the FFmpeg and I'll have the, what you do is you, you just paste some code into the terminal window again, hit enter, it takes a while, downloads it from the internet. It's, it's really pretty sweet. Sets it up. And then the last thing you do is, is take this little also command line that runs in your terminal and you put the files that you want to work with in this directory here. So Brighton Zymac, Brighton West. So that's this directory. I don't know how to change directories here. I, I, I really, I have no idea what I'm doing, uh, but this worked. So I went in and put this in here and you'll see that this is a 600 megabyte file. And then after going through, uh, so you, you change out the, you know, input.mov becomes the name of your file that's going in that MOV. And then you can change to a different output name. I didn't do that. I just left it for output. Um, hit enter. It cranked away for, you know, five minutes or something like that. And then there was this output file here. And you can see it's just 65 megabytes and it's beautiful. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and really with myself, because in the future, if I have to do this again, there's no way I'm remembering all these little steps. Um, so thank you to um, this guy here. I don't even know, what is this? Molvia, um, who gave me this code and turned me onto this whole thing. And then over there was another person over here, Marcos Nobre. Um, what it posted this how to install FFmpeg on a Mac. So I might actually include that link down below so you can go through and see this much more detail. Um, and then 
you know, you'll be able to, to create these really small, well-compressed files that look great, sound great. Um, but, you know, I, like I said, I don't know how they're getting rid of, rid of the extra frames, but it works.